everyone. I got the Craig R3 Jr. pocket hole jig here. I've, I've had this jig for about three years now and I've gotten plenty of use out of it. It works great. I just thought I'd give a quick review on it and uh, give you guys a rundown on how everything works. The kit comes with everything pictured here. You got your, your drill bit, your square head driver, your pocket hole jig, and your Allen wrench for adjusting the collar here on the drill. Another thing you're going to want to buy with the pocket hole jig kit is this Craig clamp. This clamp slides into the opening on the pocket hole jig and they kind of work together. They're made for each other, but the clamp doesn't come with the jig kit. You got to buy it separately. Okay, so I got a couple scrap pieces here to run through how the jig system works. First thing you're going to want to do is know how thick your wood is that you're going to join together. And these are one buys, but traditional one buys are actually three quarters of an inch, as you can see there. Now that we know that, we take our drill bit and it has to be put in the case. And as you can see, there's, there's marks here. You got half inch, three quarter, inch and a quarter. There's some over here as well, some marks. So I want to put this collar on three quarters of an inch and tighten it down. When this is tight, I'll have the uh, correct drilling depth. So after you adjust the collar on your drill bit, you need to adjust your pocket hole jig block. And if you look on the bottom, you'll see these measurement marks. These measurement marks correspond with the thickness of the wood that you're trying to drill. So again, ours is three quarters. So as you can see, I got the arrow right here set to three quarters. But there's all kinds of measurement adjustments on here. Uh, depending on how thick your workpiece is. So to adjust this, you just press down right here on the end and you can move it up and down, and get it to where you need set. You gotta do it on both sides to make sure that, that they're even. And then once these are set, you're ready to drill. Okay, now that we got our pocket hole jig set up, we need to clamp the jig to the workpiece. And this can be done like this independently and drill. But what I like to do is clamp it to the workbench. It works out a little better, generally. That's what we're left with. Okay, so we're gonna join the boards together like so. And it helps if you can clamp your work pieces down so that you don't get any movement on the table. Craig also has clamps for this. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Craig also has a pocket hole screw kit that you can buy and in this kit it tells you which screws to use for which type of wood. So the hardwood screws threads aren't as coarse while the soft wood screws are more coarse. You also have uh, various lengths so the two and a half inch screws are for thicker boards and the one inch screws are for shorter boards and there's a diagram in, inside that lets you know all that information. So now that I've got the correct screws chosen I'm ready to go. So there you have it, a nice strong joint that can be made even better by adding glue. Here's a closer look at the screw kit and the chart on the inside. Here's an example of a hardwood thread, and here's an example of a softwood thread. Here's some for treated timber. Here's some that are more of a round head for both hardwood and softwood. What's also nice about using pocket hole jigs is that once you've got something put together, if you didn't use any glue, it's very easy to take back apart and then reassemble. So basically, if you're building a piece of furniture, you could do some kind of a dry fit. And to make sure you get everything back in the correct spot, take a pencil, I just happen to have this Sharpie on hand, mark across the joint so that you make sure you get it lined up correctly before you take your screws out. 
Another clamp that you might want to consider is the Craig Automax clamp. And what that does is it holds everything together very well. You take this end, put it in the pocket hole, and then put your other end on the other side of the piece that you're going to try to, to attach to. And you just kind of clamp it together like so, and it holds everything together very tightly. All in all, this pocket hole jig set is excellent for the money. This clamp won't come with the pocket hole jig, so you do have to ante up and buy that, as well as the other clamp that I showed you. And if you wanted to, you could build a whole set of kitchen cabinets with this. It has been done. There is a video by Craig on YouTube where somebody built their whole set of kitchen cabinets. In my opinion, this is probably the best pocket hole jig for the money on the market. There's there's one by Craig that's smaller than this, um, and then there's a few that are bigger. But for me, for as much as I use this, this is just right. It's portable, which I like. Uh, some of the other more expensive options aren't as portable. Um, so you could use this on a job site very easily, fit in your car very easily. Uh, you don't need any specific workbench to attach it to. Here's a few examples of projects that I built with this pocket hole jig. So as you can see, it's pretty versatile. You can do a lot with it. There will be a link to all the featured products in this video in the video description if you're interested. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.